Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Satham, and today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to spawn in five rare cars in the game. So if you folks enjoy this video, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and why not? Check out some of my other videos here on the channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, if you guys like GTA Online as well as other games, don't forget to check out the Lush Life Discord channel. This is a community for gamers by gamers and I will leave a link to that in the description as well as in a pinned comment so you guys can join Lush Life and we might even play some games together. Without any further ado, let's get into what this video is all about. So I'm going to show you how to spawn all of these cars. Now, some of you may already know how to do that. However, I have done some testing and I know exactly how to get these cars to spawn. We're also going to show you the prices. And as you can see, there are three variants for each of these cars. So I've got the Buccaneers here. They come in purple and cream for the Ballers, yellow and black for the Vagos, and green and black for the Families. Now, further down the line, I also have two Tornadoes. They are different, and as such, they sell for a different price. So, as you can see, there is a convertible one and a hard top one. The one that sells the most is the convertible, and you will recognize it by the black top. It also has the exhaust coming out from the front wheels, as well as these sort of wheels that are kind of filled in. The second Tornado sells for a lot less and you will see that it has the exhaust on the side, obviously a hard top, same color as the body and that is a difference. So you will recognize them by the top basically. The one that has the same top as the body sells for a lot less, the one with the black top sells for a lot of money. And further down here we have two more cars that spawn in the gangster territories so that would be the manana and the peyonte these all already come customized and as such they do fetch in a hefty amount of money if you get them to spawn and sell them at los santos customs and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to spawn these cars as well as their spawn locations and what you need to do so the very first thing you will need to do is to get a car of a similar shape. It does not have to be a modified car at all. Just go drive around the city until you find a, say for example, Buccaneer or a Tornado or a Maniana or a Peyante and then make your way to the gangster territory. So this is basically where we want to start off searching for the car. So the spawn around here for the families, the Ballers spawn down there, as well as the Vagos, which spawn around here. So there are three car parking spaces in which these cars will spawn. So this is the journey that we want to take down the road. We'll come up to this point, after which we should see if something spawned. And then we want to come around this road. And there we will see if anything will have spawned in the Vagos territory. So, once you have made your way to my location, you will want to drive the route that I just showed you before. Now, there is a very, very important thing here to note and remember, and that is that you will have to drive slow. By doing that, you are giving time to the game to spawn in these cars, and you will want to be here anywhere in between, uh, say, 4 in the afternoon, so that's 1600 hours to 4 in the morning to get these cars to spawn. That is the timers that I've seen them spawn in. There is the first car, so that is obviously a Buccaneer that has spawned. Another one spawns where that car is parked there. And occasionally you will get a car to spawn down the street, so do keep your eyes peeled. Obviously the type of car that hey, will uh spawn for you may vary. It is quite random. However, there is a bit of a pattern. So if you are driving a Buccaneer, you are more likely to get a Buccaneer. And the same goes for the other cars. Once you've made your way through the family's territory, which is where we were before, you can drive down this road towards the Baller's territory. Now, there are three uh, spawn locations for the Baller cars, but they're generally really close together. So they're right at the end of this road. As you can see, there is another Buccaneer there. 
and this one is in the Ballos territory. So there are like three spots where these cars park in this end of this road. Obviously, I don't want any of them. I'm just showing you guys that they do spawn quite easily. And like I said before, the big trick to getting these cars to spawn is to drive slowly. Now, this is quite a nice thing because you can get cars that are already customized. You can sell them if you are at the beginning or just starting off in GTA Online. And that will get you some nice quick cash. You can store them as well and use them as personal vehicles. If you do store them, don't forget to put insurance on them. And most of these cars can be turned into low riders, which are absolutely amazing cars. I absolutely love the fact that you can do that, and they do look amazing. So now we're gonna go to the Vagos territory. I'm gonna show you all three spawn locations for the custom cars. Again, continue going slow. If you do get the train like I did, don't try and race it, just wait for it to go past. As you can see, in the first car parking space, there was a yellow buccaneer. This is the second car park that spawns cars. So you will want to keep your eyes out for that. And there's another car parking space where I've seen these cars spawn, and that is this one right here. Okay, so next up, let's have a look at what these cars sell for. So the first one is the Albany Buccaneer. We'll quickly repair it to show you an accurate price. Obviously, prices will vary depending on the discount at Los Santos Customs. And as you can see, the Buccaneer sells for just over nine grand, actually closer to the 10 grand mark. And this is a very decent price for a free car that you can find in the game that you can also keep. The next car is the Tornado. Now this one is the convertible one. And as I said before, and you will see here, it does sell for a very, very impressive price. And it is the one with the black top. I have the top up so you guys can see what it looks like. And there you go, folks. $12,575. So you get a very good price for this car. miracle did you want me to perform? Next up, we have the second version of the Declease Tornado. This is the non-convertible one, so that is the one with the hard top, which has the exact same color as the body. And as you will see in a bit, there is a significant price difference between the two cars. This is closer to the eight grand mark. However, it is still good money, especially if you are just starting out in the game. And it's definitely worth picking these up for some extra cash. Alternately, you can keep these cars until you build up enough money to go to Benny's and turn them into low riders. And the next car is the Albany Manana, which is the cheapest of the lot. So you will see it does sell for the least amount of money. However, it is still good money. And as you can see, it sells for 7520 bucks definitely a nice amount especially if you're starting out and as i said before this car does come fully customized in terms of visuals and you can definitely keep it if you are into this sort of stuff Touch. finally the last car that you will get to spawn is the vapid payonte and this is actually the most expensive car that you can get in the gangster territories as you will see in a bit as I've said previously, these prices will vary depending on what discount they will have at Los Santos Customs. However, it still is one of the most expensive gangster cars that you can get. It does look nice and it's a shame that it can't be turned into a low rider. Well, at least not at the time of making this video. Okay, so next up I'm going to be showing you folks how to spawn in the Sand King XL. So these are Sand Kings that are already customized and they sell for a decent amount of money. So in order to get these to spawn, you will need to have a Sand King already. Preferably, well actually I recommend a four door because the Sand King that you want to spawn or are trying to get to spawn is already a four-door Sand King. I'm going to spawn in a helicopter, particularly a buzzer, to get to the location 
and then I will show you on the map where we want to get to in order to get these cars to spawn. Okay, so these cars spawn somewhere around here. I'll show you the location in a second. Let me just zoom in. And so there we have the prison. And in this general area, we have a quarry like, and the car will spawn around here. So, this is where we want to be. It is like a car dealership, and that is where we are going. I've set a waypoint, and I'll see you folks when I get there. Okay, so as you can see from the air, there is the quarry. Further along is the prison, and I'm going to try and land somewhere down on that road and get myself a sand king now it's very important you want a four door sand king and this car can spawn anywhere in between the hours of 10 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon so that is 1400 hours it is a fairly easy car to get to spawn providing you have a sand king that has four doors so as you can see there is one in the parking lot i'm gonna go and pick that one up and that is what I'm going to use as a spawning car. Also, I will get my phone out so you guys can see the time. And once I am in it, I am going to show you the route that we are going to take in order to get this car to spawn as well as where it spawns. And very, very important note here is to get these cars to spawn, you need to be driving slow. Oh, there we go. What a lucky shot. We already have one that has spawned. So this is kind of like a car dealership that does spawn the Sand Kings. Obviously, that was quite lucky. We did get a custom Sand King. I'm going to take it into this garage or custom shop to show you guys what it sells for. With the yellow variant or orange variant being the cheapest of the bunch here is the price for this particular car and then i will show you how to get the other one or if you haven't got one already i'm going to show you how to get one to spawn very important if you do want to keep this car to obviously put a tracker on it and ensure it so the route we're going to take is we're going to go up this hill up to those trees up in front then we will take a left and come back down on the dirt path the big 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 important thing to remember here is you want to be driving slow to give the game time to spawn it in this is a fairly easy car to get to spawn in and as you've seen it does sell for a hefty amount of money and the blue one or the blue variant of the sand king does actually sell for a lot more so once we get to these trees we will then take a left and we'll go towards those trees in front of me then we will slow down or even stop for a couple of seconds if you want just to give the game time to then you'll want to go down this dirt path again slowly so that we give the game time to spawn in the car from around here we should be able to see when the car spawns in and hopefully we will get the blue variant on this run so you can see the dealership in front of us we're going to continue driving slowly just oh there we go it has spawned in let's go and pick that one up and see what it sells for As you can see, there are a couple of differences between them. It does have the cab on the back and it does not have the fuel tanks on the side. Obviously, there is a different color, which I'm sure everybody can see. So I'm going to go and take it into the custom shop and I'm going to show you folks what this one sells for. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? quickly going to repair that to give you a more accurate price obviously the prices at the custom shops will vary depending on what discounts there are and as you can see this one is around the 18 grand mark and as such 
is not a bad price for the minimal amount of work that we just put in. The next vehicle that I'm going to show you how to spawn in is the Sentinel XS. Now, as you can see, there are two variants of the Sentinel XS. So that is the yellow version as well as the blue version. The yellow one sells for a lot less than the blue one. However, they are both customized with obviously visual customizations. And as such, they will sell for a hefty price at the Los Santos Custom Shop. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to get a hard top two door sports car to spawn it. And the next thing you need to know is that these cars spawn anywhere in between 10 p.m. to about 3 at the latest 4 a.m. So that is 2200 hours till 2 or 4 in the morning. I think the latest I've seen this car spawn happened to be at 4 in the morning. However it is not a frequent occurrence. It does tend to spawn quite frequently at midnight. So as you can see, I've got a sports car. It is obviously a convertible, so therefore not a hard top. But that is because I'm going to show you the route that we are going to take. I'm also going to have the time out via my phone so you guys can see what time it spawns at for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drive up the hill very, very slowly. And then once I get up there, I will stop for a brief second, not look into that direction. So do not look at your left. That's just because it gives it a couple of seconds more. The big trick with most of these cars is to drive slowly. So I've put out my phone so you guys can see what time it is in game. Okay, now that I found a car that I'm going to use as a spawner vehicle, I'm going to go and get in it. And then we will attempt that run again, this time doing it for real. So I'm going to go down this way again. I want to kind of keep away from the spawn location just so I don't interfere with it. If you do have a friend that is with you, make sure that they are not within the area or if you're getting the car for a friend make sure that they are with you so we're going to start from the bottom here we're going to make our way up this hill very very slowly if you want you can stop at this intersection for a couple of seconds just to give the game some additional time to spawn in that car i normally like to go close to the left uh footpath or pavement and I'm going to stop right in front here so that the cars don't drive past the traffic lights I'm going to give it a couple of seconds then I will turn left there it is we have the yellow sentinel XS and as I said before you can get this car in two colors the yellow one and the blue purpley one Okay, so the first one we are going to look at is the blue or purple Sentinel XS. As you will see, this is the one that brings in the most amount of money at around or over $17,000 if you choose to sell it. Alternately, you can build up a garage full of these and sell one every 50 minutes or so in the game for money. And secondly, we have the yellow sentinel excess which obviously sells for a significant difference compared to the other one and as you can see it sells for less it's still nonetheless a good looking car especially if this is going to be your first car it does come with some visual customizations and it still brings in a bit of money the next free and custom car that I'm going to show you folks how to spawn in GTA Online is the Rat Loader Muscle Car. So this is, as you can see, a custom muscle car that you can spawn in the game. These cars also come in two color variations, which will affect their sell price at Los Santos Customs. Okay, so we are at the spawn location for the Rat Loader Custom. This is, as I said before, a muscle car, and I will show you its location on the map. So I am located 
right here this is where it does spawn and it is quite up north on the map so it is quite a distance to travel and it spawns in the car park next to Beaker's Garage which is the up most northern custom shop so that is what the custom shop is called up here it's called Beaker's Garage and it spawns right next to this mission circle so without any further ado let's get into it and I'll show you what you need to do now there are several paths that you can take to get this car to spawn it really doesn't matter and I'll show you this in the video what does matter is you must be driving at a slow speed when you are approaching it and you must start your approach from somewhere around two blocks away so the first path that I am going to take is going to go around Beaker's garage and we're gonna try and keep a distance of about two blocks as this is a muscle car you will want to use a muscle car to get this one to spawn now I have seen videos on the internet that suggest that you get or buy a rat loader and my opinion on that is well why spend money on a rat loader when you can get it to spawn if you just use what you have in the game in terms of resources so you don't need to buy a rat loader to get the custom one to spawn it's just a waste of money obviously it may take several attempts to get one to spawn it is quite random when they do spawn and it is quite random what version of the rat loader will spawn however you don't need to go buying a rat loader to get a custom one to spawn there is no point in that and i advise against it Okay, so we should be coming up on the farm that is next to Beaker's Garage. Once we do, we are going to go through the farm. We're going to continue going slowly so that we give the game time to spawn it in. On this attempt, I did deliberately choose a wider circle. You can go straight through the fields if you wish, but you do have to be out of visual range to give the game time to spawn the vehicle. So I'm going to wait here for a couple of seconds, not too long, there's no point, and then slowly make my way to the location. I can see that one has already spawned. And there we go, this time around we have the green one. And as you can see, you can take it, you can put it in your garage, you can keep it by putting a tracker and insurance on it. Alrighty, so now on to the second attempt. We're going to try and get the yellow custom rat loader to spawn in. Notice that I am using a different car. It is also still a muscle car and I am approaching it from a new angle. So I've kind of calculated what would be maybe two possibly three blocks away and we are going to approach that same location slowly once again and notice that i am in a muscle car i've also got my phone out so that you folks can see the time in the game there we go i can see it already So let's go and check out what these vehicles sell for. There we go. Let us repair it so we get an accurate price. Obviously, prices will vary at the custom shops depending on what discounts the custom shops offer. So here is the price for the yellow custom rat loader. And after this we will be looking at the green one so that you guys can see what the difference in price is and yes there is a difference which I will show you in a little bit 
you have any problems, you bring her back to me. And there we go. As you can see, the green custom rat loader does sell for, I would say, significantly less than the yellow one. However, money is still money, and you can sell it and get a nice, easy profit. And finally, last but not least, I'm going to show you how to spawn in the rarest and most difficult car in the game, and that is the Dubster 2. Now, this is going to be a short version. If you guys want more information, I do have a full-length video specifically on this car, and I'll link it down in the description as well as in a pinned comment. So I have spent quite a significant amount of time doing a lot of research, testing out a lot of methods that are out there to find the best method for getting one of these cars. Now this is quite a rare car and as you can see behind me it comes in two colors, it comes in silver as well as in gold. Of course this is, as I said before, a difficult car to get. It does require you to have a Dubster 2 already and it spawns quite rarely and of course in this video i am going to show you what is the best method of getting this car to spawn and how to get it to spawn for you every single time okay so if you don't have one already you will need a friend who has either a mc business or if you have an mc business you will need a friend who will become a road captain so in this case my friend hasn't got a mc business i do so i am going to sign up as the mc president then i will invite him to the mc club and set him as an mc road captain once that has happened then he can summon in a dubster 2 from his interaction menu via the MC club. Of course, this is a dubster 2 that we are summoning in and I will show you what it looks like once we do that. And obviously you can also get yourself invited to an MC club if you don't already own one and have your friend set you as the road captain and at which point you can then summon in a dubster 2. Very important thing to note here is that you cannot keep this, you can use it for missions, however, you will need a dubster 2 to get the silver and gold ones to spawn. Now these obviously spawn at the Los Santos Customs shops throughout the city, so obviously there are three, there's one by the airport, one by the industrial estate, and there is another one in the center of the city. All three spawn locations do work, and I will show this throughout the video. So with that said, my friend Mike has summoned in a Dubster 2, which is just around the corner. This is the MC Dubster, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And just to point out several differences that this vehicle has. As you can see, it already has some customization to it. I think it's the wheels. It has the matte black color, and it does have the tinted windows. Here on the back you can see that the wheel is slightly offset to the left, so it's not on the center. And this is one vehicle that any road captain can call in. So we're going to use this as our first spawning vehicle because we don't have one. Well actually I do have a garage full of them, but I'm going to show you guys how to get one to spawn in from the beginning and then obviously how to keep getting those cars to spawn in which do sell for a decent amount of money so the first place we're going to go to is obviously we're going to pick up my friend and then i'm going to take you to my favorite spawn point all right so my favorite spawn point is this one right here which is more or less the industrial area well part of an industrial area but this is where my favorite spawn point is and I will show you later on in this video why it is that. So obviously this vehicle spawns anywhere from 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. So that would be 8 in the morning to 1600 hours. So that is the spawn timer. That's why I'm not driving very, very slow. The way we're going to get it to spawn is I'm going to go down or up and down this highway and at this point, say around here, I should see it spawn. And then what we're going to do if it doesn't spawn, we're going to drive all the way back to the Isle of Sprung sign. 
and then drive slowly down this road all the way to the Los Santos Customs to the second light post just in case it is a late spawner. I have had that happen to me several times. So this is the path we are going to go. I'm going to show you where we should see it spawn. It doesn't matter where you look and what you do. So around here we should see the dubs to spawn. However, I am going to drive all the way down to say about here. Just in case it is a late spawn. Once it spawns, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive all the way down here. Then get out the car, jump off this bridge. And there is a building underneath it, so I shouldn't take too much damage. You can try driving around, but do bear in mind that it can despawn because it's out of line of sight. I have had that happen to me during this test, and it is awfully frustrating because it does take a lot of work to get it to spawn. So... During this run, I am going to keep my phone out so you guys can see the time. This is, as I said before, my favorite spawn location because I can see it spawn in before I actually get close to Los Santos Customs. And as I said before, this is a rare vehicle. Now, from my tests, and I have run multiple tests throughout several days, I've tried different methods, I have noticed several interesting things. The first one is that it has a 1 in 10 chance of spawning. So that's basically a 10% chance of getting this vehicle to spawn. So you may need up to 10 attempts to get one to spawn in. Obviously, if it does spawn in, just go and pick it up. But do bear in mind that other cars can spawn in at the Los Santos Custom Shop. If that is the case, just drive away and keep repeating. However, do bear in mind that the counter starts from zero because you had a car spawn in. So you need to start counting your attempts again. Now, on average, it takes me or has taken me around seven attempts to get a dumpster to spawn in. That's right. It will take up to seven. Now, I have been lucky on several occasions where I have had the car spawn in on the first attempt. That only happened twice. And I think about three or four times where it spawned in on the second attempt. Apart from that, it normally spawns in anywhere between 5 to 8 attempts. So as you can see already, it is a randomly generated car. So there is a very strong element of the RNG system in place here. This is what the dubster looks like. This is the gold dubster and you can tell that by the rims. Not so much by the color because it is in the shade. But yeah, it is the gold dubster. The difference in prices are very small between the gold and silver dubster the once you've got yourself a dubster too you can then get more to spawn in and i'm going to show you how to do that in the next part of this video once you've got yourself a dubster too there are two things you can do with it you can sell it to los santos customs which will get you in somewhere around twenty three thousand dollars it really does depend on what sort of uh discount los santos customs has at the time or if you want to keep it and use it as a spawner vehicle you can keep it by putting a tracker on it as well as insurance you don't want to lose a car after you've spent so much hard work trying to get it well that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it if you have please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel for more similar content and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on future uploads. Also, don't forget to check out Lush Life Gaming if you love gaming and are looking for a nice community to join. Now, this is a Discord channel and there are a lot of people on the channel at the moment. Everybody's friendly, so please come by and check it out. I will leave a link down in the description as well as in the pinned comment for those that are interested. And until next time, stay safe, folks.